How have you placed this winning culture, you know, as a part of your program, and how have you turned it around from a few years ago, let's say, um, last year? Well, I think it takes commitment from the players, you know. First mm -hmm. and foremost, you've got to have players that love the game and commit themselves to getting better. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the group that graduated last year, that was what they did, you know, from freshman year on. They had a ton of experience, and that helps. Um, and I think you have a coaching staff in place that, you know, Coach Evans is new, to the, this is his fourth year now, but Tony and I have been here for 13 years. Um, I think consistency is huge. Mm -hmm. And so, and I think coaches have to exhibit the absolute love of the game. Mm -hmm. um, and then that feeds over into to your girls. If they see the coaches love it, I think then they in turn love it too. But in your mind, what's gonna be the biggest challenge that your team faces in moving up classification? Well, I think for us, you know, we knew this year that I think defensively, I, I, I felt like defensively we were going to be okay. Um, offensively is what I've said, I think is going to be the biggest thing that we have to, to make sure that we get back up because we lost three 400 hitters uh, mm -hmm. last year. We lost another 300. So we lost some, some big hitters mm -hmm. that we need some of this, these younger girls to kind of step up and take mm -hmm. their place. I think, you know, we've, we've got the pitching. I think we've got decent defense. We've got all of that. Um, we just need to get our offense going. Okay. Now, what are you looking forward to most? Obviously, besides postseason and you know trying to get to that, yeah. get to state. What would you say just down to the top right now? It's what you're looking forward to. Well, I'm looking forward to just you know coming in and, and people are going to be a little nervous about us because you know we lost some good kids, but but we got a good core back. Mm -hmm. And so I think what what I'm looking forward to is going and beating some of those Class B teams that um, also lost. Stud pitchers is what they mostly lost. Right. Um, you know, the Seward's lost a great pitcher. Crete lost a great pitcher. And, um, you know, we competed against them, but mm -hmm. they usually came out on top. And so I like our chances against those teams. And Where do you see your batting progression at as a team right now? And do you think you could reach that same level this year? Oh, yeah. I think I got to be able to step right up. Yeah. I mean, because these girls that are younger, the boys been watching the uh, older girls. So, uh, yeah. And they want to fill in, too. Yeah. So, uh, you know, give the goals. I think we hit 22 home runs last year. Yeah. Of course, we're going to beat that. But, yeah, we, we just want to win. What's your key as a coach? I mean, to find consistency in your team and your bats. What, how do you get your team to be consistent and maybe the mental aspect of the game too? What's your that philosophy? Batting? Yeah. <laughs> you got to do it. You got to do it year round. Got to do. You just can't pop in here two weeks before practice and say I'm going to be a great hitter. Mm -hmm. It don't work that way. Okay. You know, one of our best hitters, Sarah Mason or Sarah McCown, Mason Oldie, all them girls put in over. You know. 40 batting winner and still did basketball. Yeah. And still did their education. Of course, they're all going to college. You got to put the time in. Yeah. You just can't show up a week before practice and want to be a great hitter. Right? Yeah. I guess in my aspect to hitting is you, you own the moment, not the pitch. Mm -hmm. You got to walk up with the swag, yeah. which is what you know, something we athletes got, what it stands uh -huh. for. And that's what all my hitters do. Okay. So I want teams that, when a pitcher goes out there and they see us batting, they're like, oh, this is going to be a long day. It could be a short one, I hope. We're the most consistent winning team there is in sports yeah. in the last 10, 15 years. And that's why. We have dedicated girls, we have dedicated athletes. We've got to hit year round, We've got to field year round. I mean, we have girls that went to you know, California and played. We have girls that played, you know, everywhere. Because they want to win.